Hey, welcome back. Hey, we got another one. Uh, this, uh, was a reissue. Well, it started out as a reissue of the, uh, Peterbilt tow truck AMT. Uh, a few little pointers. The original box art is misleading. The whole idea of reissuing is reissuing the old original kits. If you look closely at the box art, even though it looks like the old 359 little window, it is not. I repeat, it is not. It is a second gen A cab Peterbilt with the door handles on the bottom of the bigger cab and a three bar grill. Uh, so you guys are going to be disappointed. Those that like the old little one don't thinking that's what you're getting. That is not what you're getting. So what I did is I traded that chassis and old truck uh, with my brother. He had a uh, old little window kit, never been built. So I just swapped out the truck itself, kept the original body, and did my own thing here, my own paint scheme here. There's a lot of work to still be done, touch-ups and things like that. But, you know, uh, added on a few little little details and things on there. But uh, I'm going to make this on my own. I mean, I like the scheme that they did on the reissue. Kind of got goofed there. I got to re-straighten that out. Oops. You know. But um, uh, put a double luber finer on there. Uh, the aluminum style uh, skirt for the air cleaner hose. Custom painted the uh, reefer to match the truck. Yeah, uh, did the one to trim. But this here is the reissue of the body. Uh, fits pretty good. Better than the original, I can tell you that. Uh, you know, eh, you know, did this in paint. Everything's in paint, no decals. Uh, this was a hard paint scheme. Uh, they give you the striping, you know, to kind of go with this style of paint scheme, but to get that arc and tape it off. I know there's guys that can pull it off. I ain't one of them. <laughs> I didn't even tempt it. You know, so. Yeah, it comes with accessories. Spare tire, jerry cans, jack, toolbox, things like that. It's pretty decent, you know. There actually was uh, this truck from Don's Truck Plaza in Compton, California. I remember trucking my dad and actually seeing three of his trucks he had back in the day. And it was a yellow Little window 359, but I had a sleeper on it. But it did, in fact, have this body. So this body is accurate. Anybody that wanted to know if that's a generic body? No, it is not. All right. Um, I got the front steering, did a lot of chopping and whacking. Got the front to actually operate all the way down to the drag link. That wasn't an easy job, but we got her done. You know, try to keep it look like the kit, as you can see. Had to add that little piece behind the bumper there and shave the front of the bumper rail or the frame rails to get this bumper to line up even. And unfortunately with the little windows, they don't have hinges. They had this little lip. And if you put it on the truck down that groove, it will always fall too far and then you'd always have a gap between your cab and your hood. But this is where we're at so far. Hope you guys enjoy. Uh... Did a little plumbing, not much, just enough to give it a little flavor, break it up a little bit. But this is where we're at so far. You know, like I say, it's not finished. Uh, Peterbilt's have radiator supports on the upper part. That is wired there for the supports. Um, but this is it. You know. All right, thanks for tuning in. Y'all have a blessed day.